welcome to Taco Bowler Gaming and perhaps League of Average Gaming, uh, as this usually goes up on both. This is a new timeline video for an offline campaign I did playing as Florence. The original goal was to do the Florence into Egypt achievement, which I did, uh, but then I extended it on out to form the Roman Empire because I had yet to form Rome from one of the Italian states, which I feel like is kind of like doing it right. Um, and by the time I got to Egypt, as you'll see, I had a lot of the land I needed anyway, so just kind of finished that out. So this is a Florence into Tuscany, into Egypt, into Italy, into Rome, run. So let's begin here. We're playing, of course, as Florence, and you'll see we slowly begin to uh, expand in Italy. Of course, in Italy, you can't expand very quickly, certainly not during the, uh, while, you, while you're all still in the empire, but even when not, that's a lot of aggressive expansion that you're going to have in there. But I would find a way. At some point, I will also become the overlord of Cyprus. Um, I think they were in Venice's Trade League or something like that. With that idea was to get Cyprus and then, um, you know, annex Cyprus and get claims on the Mamluks and we'd be good. Well, that didn't happen. By now I've had Cyprus because... I, did, I took this to try and get closer to Cyprus so I could annex them. Uh, because I couldn't get over there, I didn't have the coring range. Oh uh, well. But we're just growing slowly and, and we're, we're taking just barely enough to avoid coalitions. I think for the most part in this frame of time I did avoid coalitions, but I just you know, was able to take uh, the area there. Cyprus will be my vassal. Oh, there we go. They're, they're taken. Cyprus will be my vassal at one point. Mantua will become my vassal. Uh, let's see. There are a couple of others that will become my vassal eventually. But here we go. We're starting to take the land we need for Egypt. We're also going to take Venice. Because uh, one of the things that you have to do is not only own the territory, which actually isn't that much. You need these three, and then uh, Cairo here, and this one, I think. But you have to have... Egyptian culture as your main culture and have your capital in Cairo and have um, an admin level 20. So I had some time to get to admin level 20. That's 1620-ish, I believe. Uh, maybe 1660-ish. So uh, you see we just took a lot of territory there. So I was trying to, through development and through states, trying to get Egyptian to be my primary culture. And one of the things I was trying to do was expand out over here. I would take all of Egypt's land, all of Egyptian culture land, state it all. There's Tuscany, which you just need admin level 10 for Tuscany um, and a few properties. But um, yeah, so I'm going to take land, try and convert this to Egyptian, make it all states. But what I was really trying to do was actually find a way to start making this Egyptian. So I didn't have to unstate anything. So I would take Crete and I'd take these and just trying to get over here. But with Castile and Aragon as my ally, I could never quite get all the way uh, over there. Uh, and it wound up costing me. Now, this is a key moment. At this point, I believe is around the time that Mantua becomes my uh, vassal. They'll eventually get fed this and then annexed. But at this moment, I diplomatically vassalized Naples, and then I will feed them quickly all back that, and that's when Castile, I think, left me because I had lands they wanted or something like that, um, but yeah. I'll also, I'll take these two, but I never quite can, never quite can get that connection back to Italy, which is actually what lets me then flip back to Tuscan after forming Egypt uh, in order to form Italy. Uh, and then you'll also notice when I take these, I will quickly release Byzantium out of these. Or at some point, I will release Byzantium out of this. We had Spain form, and then we release Aragon. I know that's a problem in the, this patch. It happened here. But you can see that I've got all of Italy here. It's 1554. I've got all of Italy here. I've got a ton of the African provinces I'm going to need. As soon as I take this area, the Ottomans will uh, say, hey, uh, we're no longer allies. I was allied to the Ottomans, Spain, France, 
and um, I was allied to QQ for a while. I think that may have been after the Ottomans said goodbye. And uh, just slowly turned on my allies. I would be allied to Morocco until I needed Fez, so, you know, just slowly turned on my allies. But the biggest ally I will have is Poland and Lithuania, which would be the Commonwealth. And funny story in this one, there goes Naples. Poland took the local noble, and then around, actually, like, right when they flipped to Commonwealth, whenever that is, right there. So right around this time, I was right. They got a PU over Lithuania by the normal mechanics. <laughs> There's Byzantium. And so I will begin to feed Byzantium their massive tree, although that didn't wind up being as profitable as I had hoped, because um, I... I was into the Age of Absolutism by the time I was attacking with their tree, so I wasn't using their claims because my Absolutism was higher and I could just get more. So I didn't wind up being that great, and uh, they wound up being huge and taking 2,000 some odd power to integrate, so not sure I would do it again this late, but it is a, a good path. So I'll begin to integrate Naples, Mantua, I think Mantua goes first, begin to feed Byzantium their tree over here, taking all of this, taking all of this area, just begin to slowly work out because again I haven't yet gotten the goal of the campaign as I'm beginning to fight Spain as well you can see over in the left I begin to take my over here but I haven't yet gotten the goal of the campaign in fact I'm 50 some odd years away from being on time to get the goal of the campaign of admin tech 20 and getting Egypt I did have Egyptian culture as a primary culture by this point but I was like well if I'm taking all this much land and I've never done the Italian nation into Rome thing, why not? So I began to push hard. Portugal here, you'll notice a few days ago, a few minutes ago, Portugal was annexed by Spain. They were a PU under Spain, they were annexed by Spain, and then I took Algrave and released them again. So this is now my vassal Portugal as I reconquested all that territory. And I, you know, quickly grabbed them here. And as I'm taking all of this land, and specifically taking Granada, I succeeded. Aragon declares independence. They lost that war, but it weakened Spain. Some of their colonies declare independence, and uh, Spain begins to lose all of their prowess. Uh, they would eventually be exiled to... They, they keep this, which I still to this day don't understand why uh, Morocco didn't take that <laughs> at any point on their own, but uh, they would keep this and be annexed essentially to uh, South Africa. So... Fun times. So yeah, Austria is coming down here. Austria was the emperor for a lot of this. Um, and there will come a moment uh, in a bit where um, you will not see anything, but I will face a coalition. And I, I think that I was Italy at that time, so around 1660, 1670. I faced a coalition of all of... Okay, so yeah, right after I take this land over here. Um, I will face a coalition of all of the HRE. There is Egypt. It's, and it, Egypt lasted so little time that it flipped back to Italy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Egypt, I thought Egypt would have its own tree. And so I would like go through the tree to what I could use. Um, but it didn't. It was just a tag, which was very disappointing. I've also released Catalonia from one province over here and, uh, fed them their non-cores, so I will reconquest the rest of Aragon here in a moment. But Aragon is free at this point. Um, and you can see Byzantium has taken this. I've taken um, all the land I will need out of Austria, all the land I'll need over here, save for that, and Const Constantinople is owned by me. And we're slowly moving out here. I, I would always have this happen. I, I would not be able to feed them all of the land, so I had to core some of it myself and then give it to them. Not great, but... This is where I kind of gave up giving them land, although I... Yeah, I think I just take all this for myself the next round. So you see I'm pushing into Iberia here. Um, and this is roughly the time that it would have been on time. I've connected across. I own the entire Mediterranean Sea's uh, coastline. And I'm just slowly taking here because we do face a large coalition. And so just slowly taking the land I need. I, I don't take the land from England because I have claims on this land through the Italian tree. 
and I couldn't at that point get into uh, England's mainland that reliably, I couldn't defeat them on the sea that reliably, so I wanted to make sure I had a Conquest CB to go against uh, England at all times, so I did. Now this is the moment. When I took all of this land, that angered these guys. So Fars, Corazon, Transoxiana, Kazan, and no guy, they all got angry. Transoxiana and no guy joined the coalition with pretty much the entire HRE at that point because they were upset with what I was doing in France and Austria uh, and, and Savoy down here. This is all Imperial land. And they declared, no guy specifically declared. Fortunately, all of my allies came calling. Uh, QQ, Commonwealth, Morocco, they all answered the bell. So I, I, Ethiopia will eventually be an ally, as will Kabu, but I don't think they were at this point. Uh, Mamluks were also in this, this coalition. Uh, they all answered the bell, and it was relatively even in numbers, but we, between the Italian uh, traditions and things, and just small numbers, we smoked them. We were stack wiping groups of 20 to 40,000 troops as we were running through here, and I used the coalition to dismantle the HRE. Um, there, Austria was not in it, they were under truce, and so I had to attack Nevers, which was the seventh and only elector not in the coalition. Um, so once I had the other electors' capitals occupied, I attacked Nevers with a no CB war. That drew in Austria, and I was able to quickly take down Nevers' capital, quickly take down Austria's capital, while defending the other ones, the only one that, that was there, I know Osberg was a, an elector, Liège was an elector, Brabant was an elector, no, Flanders was an elector, we had to get through Brabant's fort. Uh, Mainz was an elector, and I want to say... Um, Hesse, maybe it may have been Frankfurt, but like, the electors were all over here. And this was the one that I really struggled to get back to to defend, but I did manage to get there, and we dismantled the HRE in the middle of a coalition, which I'm pretty proud of. But anyway, you will see this here. Now, I'm allied to QQ, so I will not take Iraq for a while. And in fact, I just kind of wanted the, the Sunni nations to get out of the coalition, so I just kind of left this alone. I don't take territory for a while, um, and I just focus all my conquest over here and angering the Catholic... Uh, and Protestants over here in the former HRE. But now in 1687, I own all of everything I need in Anatolia, everything I need in Italy, everything I need in the Balkans, everything I need in, in Africa, everything except for Fez, which was owned by an ally, everything I need in Liberia. So it's like, we just own all of this stuff. At this point, I'm going to, I had just finished administrative ideas. I was going for influence ideas. And once I finished that, I began to integrate Portugal and Byzantium. Um, and so now, um, once I had all of the land that you see here in France, that completed a new mission which let me get a permanent claim on um, Calais up here. So I could annex this province without worrying about losing my Conquest CB to keep England out of the coalition. England was massive. Um, they have quite a bit of North America under their control. And I guess they don't. You can see that Cuba's gotten independence, Colombia's gotten independence from Spain and whatnot, but they do have Brazil down here. They had 200,000 some odd troops, but we just built up about 200 galleys, and we were able to get across the channel, and I took London, and London's whole state, uh, and took Calais, and at that point it was you know, game over, and we just began to steamroll. We would go truce by truce, working toward getting things done. We will take France out. We'll take this little province here. We'll attack it for Fez. That's when we took this little province, so there's Fez. And we take Georgia and march them, and we release Theodora. We will eventually march them diplomatically, just because I like Theodora existing. We've taken that, and boom, there is Rome. We took all this and one more to get that, that remaining there. April 9th, 1735. We are Rome. We have done it. I'm still coring what I just took from France. That was the last little bit I needed. Um, but we've done it. We are a Rome starting as an Italian miner. So, so very nice to see. And then pretty fast. Uh, we're constructing the Suez Canal. It'll be done. 
uh, I just didn't have the money for quite some time. Uh, when would when would that be done? It's being built. I know at one point I could see that in one of my other things, but I guess not. Not this time, huh? Well, fine. How about, uh... Yeah. No idea why I can't see when it'll be done, but it should be done relatively quickly. Oh, that's the center of revolution. I knew that revolution was spreading in my territory, but not very much, and frankly, we're so large it was never gonna, gonna get there unless we helped it along, which I don't even know how to help it along anymore. But yes, Rome and their wonderful, wonderful ideas. Um, let's see what ideas I took. I took innovative at the start, diplomatic, humanist, because I didn't want to deal with separatism. I wanted to transfer culture. Offensive, uh, just to complete the innovative, diplomatic, offensive start. And then administrative influence to get the uh, integration policies going. And we were beginning quantity, but I never quite got one of them taken. We have certainly the largest army in the world, 324 troops, and uh, can get even more now that we're Rome. England, 214, the largest enemy. Commonwealth, 210, the largest ally. Um, Russia owned a lot of land for a while, but they're being pushed back 19,000. The Ottomans, 25,000, just nothing really there. And as you can see, Spain is down to just this. Um, and they did keep that. So, very, very, very fun campaign. Um, I always love playing in Italy. Highly recommend that. I just wish that Tuscany and Egypt were more than just a color change on the map. Um, but I, I, I guess that's just something I'm going to have to live with. But I've been talking about our gaming. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, subscribe wherever you are. If you are watching it on my channel, go check out the League of Average Gaming's channel. He is just starting to upload uh, a little bit of uh, original content to YouTube and maybe uh, look at, at getting some videos out that way. Um, or if you're on the League of Average Gaming, come over and check out my channel. We upload every single uh, weekday except for Sunday, or every single day of the week except for Sunday. Um, occasionally, we do do Sunday. A lot of times these timeline videos will come out on Sunday as this one did. But um, I have been Talk Bowler Gaming. And wherever I see you next, there I will see you.